Welcome to Grab and Go Info. Stable Diffusion is an open source text to image deep learning model by Stability.ai. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to use the Kira's CV's implementation of Stable Diffusion to generate beautiful images based on text descriptions. We will talk about how to set up runtime, how to generate multiple images using text descriptions, how to save the generated images. Let's get started. In the first step, we will set GPU as the runtime type on Google Call App. If you are not familiar with Google Colab, please check out my previous tutorial Google Colab tutorial for beginners. I will put the link in the video description. To change the runtime type, go to Runtime, then click Change Runtime Type. In the pop-up window, select GPU under Hardware Accelerator, then click Save, and GPU is ready for use. In Step 2, we will install and import libraries. Firstly, let's install Kira's CV. Then, let's import Kira's and Kira's CV for the stable diffusion model. Kira's.mix precision.set global policy set the global dtype policy. Mix float 16 means that every layer uses a 16 bit compute dtype and float 32 variable dtype by default. Maplotlib is for displaying the generated images. Image from pillow is for saving the images. The link for the code is in the video description. In step 3, we will construct a stable diffusion model using Kira's CV.models.stable diffusion. IMC height and IMC width are the heights and weights of the output images. We set both to 512, meaning that the output image has 512 by 512 pixels. JIT compile is just in time compilation. Setting JIT compile equals true enables XLA compilation, which makes the program run faster. In step 4, we will create a function for printing out the images. The code for this function is from the Keras CV stable diffusion documentation. Stable diffusion can produce more than one image at a time. This plot images function sets up the subplot and prints all the generated images. In step 5, we will generate images using text to image. Prompt takes the text description for image generation. The text description affects the quality of the image, so be as specific as possible. Explicitly mentioning the name of an artist, the art styles, or art mediums such as acrylic painting and oil painting helps to create the images you are looking for. In my text prompt, I mention the artist's name Vincent Van Gogh, the effects of the painting highly detailed, sharp focused, the art style impressionism, and the medium oil painting. Batch size is the number of images generated. Batch size equals two means that two images will be generated. Lexica.art is a stable diffusion search engine that has different art styles with text prompts created the arts. You can browse it for inspiration and text description examples. We can see that two beautiful images of cities are created in Van Gogh style. In step six, we will save the images to Google Drive. Firstly, let's connect Google Colab Notebook to Google Drive and change the default directly to the project folder. To learn more details, please check out my tutorial Google Colab tutorial for beginners. We can use PWD to check the current directory. The output shows that we are in the correct directory. Then, the two images are saved in the Google Drive folder separately as PNG files. If you have made it this far, you probably find the information in this tutorial helpful. Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish new videos like this. To learn more about deep learning, please click the YouTube playlist on the screen now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.